So your convertible top's down, you can't get it to go back up, what do you do? Welcome to a quick tip from Rick. Yeah, so what do you do if the top is down and you've got no power? How do you get the top back up? You guys are not gonna like the answer on today's quick tip from Rick. We'll get to that in just a second. Also, I'm gonna show you another little tip, stuff I like to do with the key fob at car shows. It's fun. There's kids around, there's always kids around admiring your car. I know I intended these Tuesday videos to be shorter, but I've gotta make them a, a mini vlog. There's so much going on in the Corvette community and so much going on in my little corner of the Corvette world that I wanna share that with you guys. And I appreciate you being here, I appreciate the support. My gosh, we're at 15,000 subscribers. Yeah, that number's important, but let me just tell you something. It's not the quantity, it is the quality of the people that we have here. The core is so strong, it is so engaging, uh, it really amazes me. All right, let me just talk about Sunday's video. It was something different, I had a lot of fun doing that. Just keep in mind, for me, lugging around the cooler, the camera, going to this intersection, this intersection, I had three hours in downtown Columbus. I had almost five hours in edit, almost eight hours in that 20 minute video that you guys saw on Sunday, and believe it or not, Believe it or not, I got some hate on that video. Oh my gosh, as many people that like it, I had people calling me a lunatic. <laughs> okay, this, what's your point? Hey, I'm gonna put myself out there and sometimes you take some shots. Oh. Like that. I'll do anything and everything to make you guys smile in an attempt to entertain you along the way to inform and share the great stories that come along with the ownership of this car. So thank you for that understanding. Thank you for that support. We're not gonna focus on that hate. I'm gonna focus on the great things that you guys are doing for me and with everyone together in this community. This is just fun, man, it really is. And some great ideas coming in too from that vlog. I said, hey Rick, you gotta do it again. You gotta do this. Hey, come to North Carolina, come to Arizona, come to Louisville, come to California, Michigan. Hey, thanks for the invite, guys. We are gonna do it again. I got two more episodes like that that we're gonna do on the street, my Rick on the Road show, taking to the streets, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, and I got a couple of different ideas. One, we've gotta wait until after the car is revealed, uh, the C8 car on 7, 18, 19. In case you didn't know, that was kinda, of, we were tooting a horn hard on that. And trust me, a lot of those people on Sunday, what do they do? They went home and said, hey, did you know that the Corvette's going to, be, they're gonna put the engine, everybody was talking about Corvette that day that we were able to talk with. Absolutely, and that's a good thing. Spread the word, baby, spread the word. I just love having fun with you guys, and I love promoting this car. It really makes me proud to be a part of it. I mean, even that hater said, he goes, oh, Chevrolet, and, and your owner should be embarrassed. Your, your embarrassment representing Corvette the way that you do. <laughs> what, well, why don't you go watch your salesman's YouTube channel? Well, that's right, he doesn't have one. <laughs> I mean, if you're looking for a Corvette YouTube channel that's gonna be in the books on tape format, breaking action involves perception time and reaction time. Deciding to push the brake pedal is perception time. Actually doing it is reaction time. This is not it. Oh, <laughs> you guys have no idea some of the stuff that we deal with, but you know what? The ideas that you're giving me are greatly appreciated. John in North Carolina, Pete in Michigan, always collaborating, coming up with great ideas for future content on the channel. One of recent is a conversation about the C8 2020 mid-engine Corvette revealed in California. So a lot of you watching on the East Coast what are you gonna be doing at 11 o'clock at night? Are you having a reveal party? John in North Carolina said he is, and here's a great idea. Well, if you guys are having some kind, even if you're not having a party per se, if you're in front of the computer screen and you're watching the reveal live, here's what I'd like you to do for me. Film a 10 to 20 second clip, have that camera on your face. We'll see the screen, I'll edit that in. I wanna see your reaction when the curtain drops, opens, whatever they do, thing explodes, confetti, whatever, when that car comes out on stage, I wanna see your reaction. You got a party, I wanna see that too. Send in 10 to 20 second clips, email that stuff to me immediately. I'll edit that stuff up, we'll put it up, we'll make an extra vlog on that, and then I'll have you guys watching the channel for the best reveal reaction and then we'll come up with some kind of prize or something like that for you guys to make it fun too, okay? How about that? So, reveal party, just reveal reaction on 7, 18, 19. Film yourself with your phone, 10 to 20 seconds. Email address is up on the screen. You can text it to me as well. I'm looking forward to seeing that. And people said, Rick, why don't you do a reveal party here at the dealership? So I said that to my boss yesterday. I said, hey, the, the, the viewers are saying, let's do a reveal party at the store. I said, that's a great idea. He goes, yeah, that's a great idea. And I said, okay, well, just, you know, it's gonna be a little late at night. And he goes, what time? He had no idea <laughs> that it was 11 o'clock at night. He goes, 11 o'clock, he's, um, 
I don't know, Rick. I, <laughs> hey, I'm all, I'm all in. I'm always in it to win it. So, uh, regardless if we have one in the store or not, you guys are all going to be just surrounded by your computers on your phones. Paying attention. Now, also people have asked me, where exactly is it going to be streamed live? We don't have that yet. I don't know if GM Media will put up a special site, uh, if they're going to run it on the Chevrolet YouTube channel, but when we find that information out, we'll let you know that right away so everybody can join in together and you have a chance to send in your clips, 10 to 20 second reactions of the C8 2020 reveal. I want to see your face. I want real time. If you don't like the car, I want to know that too. I want real reactions from you guys, okay? All right, thanks for doing that. I'm, lo I'm looking forward to that. You know what? That is going to be fun. Can't wait to share that with you guys. Okay, before we get into the tip, talking about if the convertible top is down and you can't get it to go back up, could be a power issue. First, let me show you this fun little tip. So if you're at a car show, you got some kids around, and a lot of these kids today don't know what the clapper was. So you've seen me do it before on the channel. For those of you that have been with us for a while, well, for those of you that are new, here's a little quick tip from your friend Rick. All right, yeah, this is a, a bonus tip, if you will. And many didn't realize you actually can put the top down with your key fob. Can't put it back up, but you can put it down. It's fun and it's fun for the show. So if the top's up, got some kids kind of looking at the car and you ask them, hey, are you familiar with the clapper? You clap your hands two times. Okay, so what you do is you get the, don't let them see the key fob. Keep it in your pocket or keep it behind you. So when they clap their hands two times, you're hitting the unlock button two times. And then immediately you got to press and hold and keep your finger on the sucker right here. Press and hold this until the convertible top is all the way down. And it'll just, It'll just blow their minds. It's a lot to try it sometime. You'll love it. You'll be a hero of the car show. Okay, so get the kids around and say, okay, little Ricky, clap your hands two times at the same time you're pushing this two times. One, two, and then immediately press and hold this down and keep your finger on it. Be kind of close to the car. And as you're holding it, this is in your pocket or it's behind your back. And you're putting down the convertible top. It just blows their mind. You're like, oh, look at that. Just like when you're inside the car and you're putting the convertible top down or up, keep your finger on this button until you hear the beep. Trust me, the kids and some big kids will be impressed that you just did that. In generations prior to C7 Corvette, if you had no power and you wanted to get the top back up, usually you can come behind the waterfall, pull a cable, manually flip this up, then you peel the carpeting back, then there's a little wrench, you undo the hydraulic pump just a little bit, and it allow you to manually put the top back up. You can't do that anymore on C7. So if you get into a situation and up on your driver information center, it says manual top operation, before you panic, what you can do is take your power top up or down button, cycle it both ways, chances are you're kind of resetting the system and then the power top will operate, go up or go down if you're stuck in either position. So on today's quick tip from Rick, you've got a convertible with the top down on your C7 Corvette. You've got no power. What are your choices? Well, here's a couple of ideas for you, especially if it's about to rain. <laughs> okay, that's probably not the best idea. I mean, who's gonna carry around a giant tarp in their car? What you really need is some juice. Not that kind of juice juice like this. Yeah, this is a little battery pack thing. I bought this off a of QVC. It actually has many jumper cables and will jump the car. You need power to the car, man. There's so many electronics on this thing. You're in that situation we just talked about. You need some power to help possibly get that top back up for you. And this is a little neat thing. Uh, we'll have USB ports. It's got a 110 outlet. Or you can get this thing off GM Accessories, the Genius Boost. I'll put the part number up there. You can contact the store for a 10% discount. This will do all those things. USB ports, a little light. This will also jump your car for you. Remember the batteries in the back and the passenger side underneath the floor. It's best to jump direct off that battery. You get a little bit better contact, a little bit better power. But really, truly, that's the situation. If you've got no power, you can't get that top back up. In the owner's manual, it does nothing other than tell you, see your dealer. I mean, wow, man. I had to jump into the General Motors dealer website, go into the service manual to find out that if the top was even half up, you could peel this thing down, you could turn this Allen wrench, and then take these screws out and do this. They're doing all they can to keep us as consumers out of that car from manually operating the top like you could back on C6. So you've got to get it to the dealer, but having some power to the car may help you. I would still take it to the dealer if this helps get the top back up for you because you may have some code stored in the car that could cause you some issues in future operations of the car. Well guys, I hope 
Hope you enjoyed today's upload. I really appreciate the suggestions on our Tuesday tip segment. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It's absolutely free. That support means a lot to me. And as always, leave those comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. Still to come on this channel, I'm gonna talk about the biggest Corvette I've ever delivered and these clips. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thanks again, you guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.